Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a story time. I'm sorry, it's a little cold in my house. I'm gonna put this blanket on. But uh, I'm, look at my shirt. Monday suck. And it's like a cheetah or a leopard or some type of wild animal yawning. So yeah. But anyway, so I thought I would do a story time today about the time I was electrocuted by an electric fence. And this goes way way back like before the third grade type of deal so i lived in this town called copper's cove and if you're from the clean area then you know what copper's cove is in texas and um this is when i lived in copper's cove before i met my stepfather well before my mom met my stepfather but um so we lived in a little duplex and i would be picked up for school at my mom's duplex in the morning but I could not go home to the duplex unless I had a note with me because my mom wasn't off work yet. So I would get picked up in the morning by the duplex and my aunt lived a couple minutes away so I would be dropped off at my aunt's house in the afternoon after school. So it was after school one day and I had a couple of friends, let's name them Sarah and Amanda. So I would always hang out with Sarah and Amanda and me and Sarah were extra close and Amanda kind of just tagged along sometimes. So um, it was just one day we were all kind of just fighting and Amanda was just being kind of a bitch for no reason. So I don't know. She thought she was like Queen Bee or something. So we're hanging out over by like Sarah's house and across the street from Sarah's house these people have an electric fence and I think they had the electric fence for their dogs I can't exactly remember it was a long last time ago so Amanda's like oh I dare you to go touch the fence and I was like okay fine whatever you do it first so she grabs it like this and is like okay see nothing it's fine and I was like okay fine I can be cool and I go up to it I grab the fence and immediately could not let go. I could not let go of the fence. I'm holding on to it. I feel it like, I feel like the jolts in my body. I mean, it's not super strong. It's just, you know, keep the animals from not wandering out type of deal. So it's not like it's like frying my brain or something. But like, a Chuck E. Cheese, they used to have this, I think it was a monkey, a gorilla. And you grab the two knobs and it's like a super powerful like vibration. It felt like that. Like I could not let go of it type of deal. I could not let go. And so after like a minute, it wasn't, I wasn't holding on to it that long. But after like a minute, I finally was like got the strength to let go of it. And I'm like, oh my God, bitch, why the fuck did you lie and say that it's okay? So I guess... What happened was, is I guess the first time is like a warning and it doesn't do anything. But if you touch it again, it will fuck you up type of deal. So yeah, it fucked me up. And I was like, dude, what the hell? And so I basically Amber told Amber, uh, ooh, I said her name. I basically told Amanda, fuck you, I'm leaving. So me and Sarah went over to Sarah's house and Am Amanda walked away. So yeah, that was the time I was kind of electrocuted. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. And if you guys get ideas for any new topics for me to do, please, please, please share them. Like this video, subscribe. I really, I've really been trying to get back into doing YouTube. And it's, it's becoming easier right now because I'm in the process of doing a vlog on my phone and I'm using my brother's camera so I'm trying to pre-record a couple videos but please subscribe, like, leave a comment down below and I will definitely reply to it so I hope you guys enjoyed watching my little story time and I'll see you guys later. Bye!